cool. I should be coming out a lot louder now. Apparently you don't change it in the broadcast settings. You have to... Let me just turn the fan on. You have to um, do it from the main PlayStation settings, which... Like, okay, sure. We still not we've not discovered one of the things on the on this map. So I wonder if we have to go back home first. Okay. Also let me know if you can hear the fan in the back. along the sword blade when I should have gone left or right. Damn. Also my chair makes a weird squeaky noise. I'm a Mario and I'm gonna win. I'm a Mario and I'm gonna win. Fuck. God damn it. Someone linked to on stream apparently. And someone linked to on stream. I watched it, I'm like, oh, no, don't stick my head. this dude because I can't leave a traveler just like stood here because I know I'll do the rest of the game and then completely forget about this guy
cool. So that is the last brazier, I think, tonight. Oh. I really want to check out this dragon first, though. There's a Check out the dragon, make sure it's actually dead. If I can even check it out. Oh, let me know if you can hear the fan, by the way. Um, I've had to turn my mic up because apparently it feels a bit low. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counsellor to kings, you can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Knavish sprites to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads travelled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. <laughs> oh, you see my... Last one. Ulrum, look at that. Maybe we can survive a fight with the Valkyrie now. these. I've seen them everywhere. It's only two. So I'm hoping I can just bombard them with stuff. don't have Berserker Rage there. Which is a bit annoying. Oh. we saw earlier, like the end of Kratos, like some snake going into these guys. I need to get that to max level as well.
dragon from that side so we'll have to boat round to the beach Must be able to get up there from the other, from the inside thing. Let's see on the other way. Yeah. Yeah. is that kill a thousand enemies wow okay I've got three old dragons still to do compete complete all of Brock and Sindri's favors collect all of the artifacts kill all Odin ravens fully upgrade the axe uh, fully upgrade the blades get the ancient armor set assist on spirits find all oh yeah find all the treasures Read all the Jotnar shrines. Oh, I missed one. Okay. Complete all the trials. Achieve all treasure from the workshop center chamber. What? Workshop's center chamber. Okay. And defeat. The nine Valkyries. How's the workshop? Tears workshop. Is that the one they mean? I'm pretty sure I destroyed everything. To get that. No. I'll have to go back. At some point. Ooh. Hello. Ah. 
second here. Oh, I didn't do this, did I? Goals. Favours. Valkyries. Mir, how'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation. And so I set to demonstrate my work by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. Enough. No stories. Not while well on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. So wait, so did he... Was it... Mimir who... Was he already mad? I don't think I've been here before. Alright, I've got to keep the lookout for ravens. Boy, over here. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Motsignir's throne. After many winters, the stronghold of Conan's guard is complete. Motsignir has invited all citizens to attend to the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we await the claiming, the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Vithergard, and with Rain Regin, Rainin, as our stalwart sentry, we f fear not from the Reaver, Dark Elf, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Motsignir is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, protector of man. Huh. Sounds like they actually like this Dwarf King. The people in Vitergard sure didn't. 
I wonder what changed. Maybe the uh, radio isn't that good. Greetings, hey. and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Whoa. Look! Another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Oh, there he is. Good old sneaky boy resting up in the distance. Sweet. Uh... <laughs> Sailed down the river, I think. Is it stuck somewhere? And um, to move it, no, uh, untried four. If the dwarf king captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Uh, 
shit. Dragon shit is powerful? I like totally powerful. <laughs> that is having fun. Oh, I, I need <laughs> Certainly not from down here. Let's go round, let's see if we can get that thing open. It's one of the um like a keystone. <laughs> the uh the story path will probably end us end us up there. That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh.
Okay. Elemental. Great. We have to activate that and now break them up. Uh, let me go across the. Oh, let me go this way. Uh, I've got to do that first. So we have to go this way. And then we come back up through the once we fight after we fought the elemental. Mm -hmm. Probably activate the guardian, I will assume. Whenever they want to be place this. Formidable duo. Oh, yeah.
Soul Devourer, an ancient whose soul has been removed by dark dwarven magic. It's stronger than a regular soul eater, and even those still terrify me. Yeah, I thought we, we fought and beat all the soul eaters. Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vathergar. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mots of Nier's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? But the Vagrath Eker, the very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. three entry stones. Okay, brother. 
Give me Odin, give me a challenge. Dragons. I do not know. There are a few ways to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Coolest dragon EU. Oh, I want to shoot the thingies. Strong 
pathogens. Let's try going down there, just doing the, all the AOEs. a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to beat it. Yeah, someone's lobbing poison shit at us. I think it's the other taser oils. He's on by yours. Oh. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Oh, 
den kamp. Follow me, Atreus. Attack it from here. Oh, I see. Love a little bit over. Look here. Yes, sir. Hmm. This is good to know. Oh, what is that? The reign of Kunnansgard. Much like Otir of Vythagard, reign has been conscripted as head sentry of Conan's guard, though he may occasionally struggle against his bindings. Oh, Raynan is the dragon. He takes great pride in his task. His thunderous breath, while extraordinarily dangerous, is merely his way of expressing pride. However, do take caution during weekly maintenance of the dragon shrines. Rain will attempt to use his breath on you. This does not. This is not meant as an attack. It is merely his own cheeky way of passing time. But make sure you vacate the area immediately because it will kill you. All rumors that all rumors that Rain's presence attracts the Dark Elves of Alfheim is pure fiction. King Mortsenir will protect us from all beasts as he has done time and time again. Yeah, I don't believe any of this. <laughs> nope, neither do I. This 
is Ray Reagan? They fight. Those the eyes. I thought those boss battle and I'll find. Jeez. to stun the taser one. Tats the one, what it's called. Why did the dwarf thing want this armor so badly? What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the Dave Grathiker. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. 
But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you say so. Oh, we're here. Okay, so where's the last? Plague. Snake. Awesome. Let's see if we can equip that thingy. Let's go. Oh, I've got a lot of these. Um. So these are blue. I do want to change those actually. Uh, resistance to frost. Nope. this one. Just increase everything. Yeah, I don't have it just yet. Um, can't be on the quest to do that. I think it's in here somewhere. Or at least one of the parts is. And I can give it to Brock and Sindri. To, uh, to get the dwarf armor. Then I'm thinking we go fight some Valkyries. Or maybe go to Niflheim. We're in. Okay. Here we go. Huh. It's kind of run down in here. What did you expect? I don't know. Less ruin, I guess? Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Go 
up here. Another. Stark. Wow. That's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six? Seven? Eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. Nice. Trophy end. The truth. New shrine entry. A giant with eight arms swinging four swords until Thor chopped him up. Why did the gods gang up on him? Probably because he was different. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I'm going back through and doing all the side quests. I've still got left. Ooh. Cool. That's not too bad. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. Yeah. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalk! I felt that one, brother! Oh. did on the other one, back at the um, braziers. Maybe a dick hit, I don't know. That's a while back. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalk! Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalk! me down like crazy amount but i did see the the whole like my arms go red do you hear that no what do you hear boy crying they're getting louder 
They sound almost like... Hellwalk! Focus up! Take care of the traveler. Sounds like the way to go. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like. Hello! I'm a Kratos, and I'm gonna win. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalk! I'm a big bid. Am I gonna win? Um, do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? They're getting louder. They sound almost like. Hello! Prepare yourself! I'm not ready! <laughs> Oh, sweet. Cheers for following, man. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! Hello! 
doing that to move. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! Damn, this is tough. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They okay, sound almost like. Hello. Be ready. <laughs> Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! When um, I've gone and done Baldir. Baldir. Do you hear that? Baldir. No. What do you hear, boy? Baldir. Crying. They're getting louder. They sound almost like. Hello! Ready yourself!
think I should stick with lightning all the way. Well. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! Probably continue this tomorrow. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. They're getting louder. They sound tomorrow. almost like. Hello! Ah! fun yeah, do you hear that if I no what do you hear boy crying they're getting louder I feel they okay. sound almost like hello <laughs> Chinese. Where's the passage behind this throne? A secret passage! Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage.
Mold Signier. Found him, Molsignir, the dwarf king, one of the sons of Ivaldi. He ruled over humans both in Vythagard and Conansgard. He was a good king at first, but then he started having dreams about his people dying. For some reason, he thought forcing them to hunt deadly beasts was the way to save them. He captured three dragons to harvest their fury, killed innocent people to harvest their screams, and then was killed by those very same people when they returned as hellwalkers that created ultimate sacrifice. You can use these three ingredients to create some kind of legendary armor. Huh, interesting. I may want to write that down. King's last words. Tragic that my failure becomes apparent as the life flows out of me. The gods came to me as I stepped and demanded retribution for my father's actions in Niflheim. My people, they who entrusted me to keep them safe, Every damned night, visions of them mangled by all manner of beast. Only I could protect them, and only through building the Draco Vikir, the, the legendary armor, that I captured every deadly beast I could find and set to building myth. The dreams were very clear about the two first two ingredients, dragon's fury and screams of the innocent. They may were sacrificed capturing the dragons, and the innocent screams were far worse than I had ever imagined. All of it was for the greater good. The third ingredient, my dreams were vague. Ultimate sacrifice, is all they would say. I hoped that forfeiting my morality during this damned search would be enough. Now I see it was my own sacrifice that was required. Like my father before me, I've been such a fool. Motsognir, son of Ivaldi. things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. <laughs> Prometheus Flame. What does this do? Oh, nice. That's pretty good, actually. This one. That's pretty good. Ah, I keep my current one. Ooh. Can change these though. Hmm. I need better ones.
I might go for is it this one? Looking for these birds. Makes my eyes go funny. Maybe the R's around here. Maybe F. C. Got the end. Ah. Shit. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head.
I wonder what this place looked like in better times. Conan's gone. Before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, and the Dwarf King lost.
six more of those now. You boys look right beaming. Well, the squirt does. Can't see squat behind that furzel fuzz you call a beard. They found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... So... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade <laughs> secret. We get our ways. Oh. Why okay. I suppose, but then I'd be in position for ages. Hail to the king. Nice. So how was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give them a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you interrogating. Bruh! You knew? Oh, we knew Faye was the last guardian of the Jotunar left in Midgard. That's why we made her the axe. We hoped it could restore the balance of power. After Thor went all breezer with our hammer. Though in the end, it seems, she chose another path. She chose, well, you. Both of you. I suppose she figured that was the best chance for the Giants to live on. And now, I suppose, that's up to you. How about that? A young Jotun with us the whole time. And the son of Laufey, the just... Oh, I should have seen it before. Better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. <laughs> okay, what's good? Ooh, 
Death Guardian Steel. How could I get out of here? I guess that worked out. Sweet. Cool. Well, I'm gonna head off and we can maybe pick this up. Again in a bit. I mean, I've not been. I don't think I've been to this one. Uh, there's also Mystic Gateway. We've not found it. Cool. Yeah, I shall catch you possibly tomorrow, maybe Sunday, uh, maybe Monday. Cool. Uh, have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.